What's up guys? Dom here. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna upload for this channel. I really couldn't tell you. But um, I just wanted to do a little dissection of the ORAS usage stats in 1-1-PL. Or not 1-1-PL, 1-1 World Cup 3 because um, he's kind of came out pretty interestingly. And um, I just want to do some talking about him. More so talking for me so I can keep my metagame knowledge up more so than anyone else. Like you guys can watch it, I don't fucking care. But I just kind of want to like keep up, you know, with what's being used and what isn't being used. So I know what to build for. And um, what sticks out to me is number one, Metagross. Um, for all the usage in ORS since I'd like to say like probably ever, I always see Charizard number one because Charizard in ORS is really good. Um, there's like no Z moves stopping it. And just f accounting for both Charizards is like really annoying, you know? You can't just OCO with this thing. Um, you can just slap a Lele on your team and be like, okay, you know, I can beat Zard. But, you know, it's... <clears throat> it's a metagame. Because, look, Zard beats Steel-types. And Steel-types are really common these days because they beat a lot of shit. And Zard beats Sableye. Zard can beat Stall with either Drum or Zard Y. It really depends. But Zard terrorizes a lot of the tier. And, um... It's just very interesting to me to see it not number one i mean granted only by one thing or one like usage stat um but still like that is definitely like noticeable that zard is just not ahead of the competition like it always usually is um and even with like sets like spadef becoming popular these days um you do see with that type of thing you see um gen 7 techs kind of creeping down into or s like that happens and that'll happen like gen 8 will be gen 8 techs that creep down into gen 7 when gen 7's done because it's just like oh you know new tech that's good and you haven't really thought about it so um yeah i, I kind of expected it's hard to be better than ever but um i suppose not i mean you know it's usage not like win rate or whatever and it's win rate is still pretty subpar but still um yeah, Zard not being number one. Metagross is, I like to say, like, a novice or S player would, like, love Metagross because this is kind of like an SM thing creeping down because an SM, nothing is really versatile. It can run Ice Punch, it can run Magnarize, it can run so much bullshit. Laser Focus Sub, so, like, I, it can Hammer Arm, it can, like, run so much stuff. And, um, in Oras, not really. Like, Meteor Mash, Bullet Punch, Thunder Punch, and then Filler, really. I mean, you can tech for um, Garchomp, but it's not really worth it most of the time. I mean, unless they really need to on a specific team. Uh, teching Garchomp, you kind of just want to run Bulky all the time, I think. It's like, there's not to. Um, yeah, Gross. Cool, it's it's more of an SM mon, but it's a very good Steel type. I think it's A on the viability rankings. I definitely do want to um, add it or make it. Um, a plus rank just because it's really fucking good and I think no one's gonna uh, disagree with that because it beats you know shit like it can beat Mawal, Karen Black, Aerials it like beats fucking all of these guys like it, it's good at beating Mons that aren't necessarily the best or the best like Zard it, it struggles with the Zard and uh, I see on a lot of teams people will have kind of shanky zard matchups because they don't want to put guard jump or like archie offs on every single fucking team i get it but i definitely do think you need to account for zard and um yeah metagross kind of to me represents like a novice though there's like you know oh I'll just, let me just stop a metagross on because they do that in sm uh, it's great though like metagross is really good um though i personally prefer mawile but it really depends on what i want to fight um M mainly because of the Sableye matchup, to be honest. But Metagross have, can have a pretty good, like, Venus or matchup, so it's kind of a trade there. Um, but Heatran number three is kind of hilarious because it represents how anti meta this mon is, being under the two mons that it's, like, really trying to beat. Heatran is good at beating Steels and Zard. Interrupted, but it, it does beat like it's anti meta in a sense that it beats like the really good Pokemon, you know. And with fucking um, 
Flash Cannon. Actually, it doesn't even need Flash Cannon to beat Kieran Black. It has like a good Kieran Black matchup. It has a good, you know, Zard Steel matchup, Porygon Z matchup. Like it's and Taunt for Venusaur. It can like beat a lot of shit that's like really good. Like it's kind of so so at beating Mons that are like B B plus rank, but it beats like the top Mons really well. And it's the best. It's one of the best Zard checks. I think it's just so anti-meta, you know. Like ugh, people, I think this Heatran is probably an A rank Mon, and I I think it's yeah, I think it's very comparable to Garchomp. So I think it should be A rank. Kinda want to raise it if it is an A already. I don't think it is. So yeah, Heatran is awesome. I love that thing just because I love consistency versus Zard, which is really what you need in Orias because you'll fight it so often. Like one out of five games, you play best of five. You know, you'll fight it. So. Definitely want to be prepared for it, you know. And um, yeah, he trained a really good, good Zar check, good Steel check. Um, Mawile, interesting because I, I think Mawile is like in the viability rankings. I think it's S or S. Yeah, it's S. I think it should be S minus. I'm gonna make it S minus. I'm gonna fucking change the viability rankings because the uh, upper ranks are really weird. Um, but yeah. Um, bad winner. Really bad winner for whatever reason. But uh, Mawile is equal these days because Spadef is like, it's a, good, it's a really good set. It can beat all Porygon Zs, beats Greninja, beats Specs Kieran Black. Like, it's just the the preferable one. Just because Greninja these days is, well, at least in, in PL it was really common. Now it's less so common, but it's definitely still top 10, like quite like factually. You know, it's, it's used very often. And so it's just really good to have that, that like secure Greninja matchup because that thing can fucking tech for anything. People are running Expert Bell these days with like Rock Tomb, you know, it's just good to have a Greninja check like that. Um, you should like that, it could be Karen Black pretty like very reliably with Spadef. Um, Spadef doesn't have that good of a Gyarados matchup. Uh, Earthquake, two Chaos. Um, but you can run Thunder Punch on Spadef if you have a free move slot, if that's like your only Gyarados check. Like it's definitely worth using um, if you like don't want to lose to Earthquake Gyarados. Um, yeah, PZ, it doesn't have the best, Spadef doesn't have the best Venusaur matchup, but you can. If you want to go, like, absolute crackhead mode, you can run Taunt, SD, I don't fucking know, I don't know. Teching Venusaur, is, Venusaur is just really annoying for my auto fight. Like, it's not an auto win, or it's not an auto loss, but, like, it's just annoying, you know? And, yeah, I mean, you can, you can fucking run Hyper Cutter if you want, I think that's a trash set. But, um, you can also... Uh, you know, I just stall out the PP on Charm or whatever, but I don't know. I just don't like using Mawa as my Venusaur check, because then you get a Leech to death or whatever. Like, people are in this really weird combination to move, like, Leech plus Charm can be Mawa, so it's just, like, kind of whatever. Um, moving on. Mawa could steal. What else is new? Uh, Kieran Black. Top 5. Um, and has a below average win rate, which is interesting. Um, 1 out of 10 games has a Kieran Black. Kieran Black and Ores if you ask me, is pretty overrated. Scarf has a good Zard matchup, but that's like it, you know? It doesn't really have that much of a defined niche besides beating one Pokemon. And, I mean, you can run Iron Head for, like, fucking Guard, I guess, but I don't know. Um, I just prefer Band. And you could definitely get away with using Fast Band as your Zard check, or at least X check. Um, but yeah, Scarf is, is a good... Zard check, like period. You'll beat most of them. Uh, but yeah, like Karen Black. I don't know. I think it's overrated. Specs is really trash in this meta game. Like, just look at the top f four. Like, the only steal you beat out of those ones. I mean, if you include Spadef Mall, is like Heat Champ with Focus Blast. And using Focus Blast means you probably have to drop Shadow Ball. And I like Shadow Ball and Specs. I think that's like its main niche. To be honest, like it, cause Slowbro is annoying. People are in Slowbro, so Shadow Ball beats it, you know. And uh, yeah, Specs Kieran Black, I just think is bad. Um, Weakest policy. Uh, if you think it's 2015 and Deg is one v one schoolgirl, maybe even earlier than that actually. Um, but like yeah, Kieran Black, I don't know, pretty overrated. Band, I think Band is underrated. I think. Chopperberry, Haban Berry, or actually Haban's bad, but like Chopperberry and Roselli Berry, like just random berries on it are really cool. 
as just like putting it as like the third mon in your team, you know, like it's cool. Uh, Gyarados, it's good. No, oh, also people uh, run Life Orb on Kieran Black sometimes. I don't know, it's it's okay. I think I, I used to hate Life Orb. I th thought high, uh, Life Orb in one v one was really bad, but like I don't know, it's it's kind of grown on me to be honest. Like the versatility is really nice. Um, in a lot of matchups, we don't want to commit to like one, like specs or band. Karen Black can run mixed lore, but which is okay. Um, yep. Uh, Gyarados, eh? Like, I think, man, I I really like would not run Gyarados without Stone Edge. Like, I really wouldn't. Like in like ninety nine percent of scenarios, um, unless our head is Zard Check, but like Zard Checks aren't the most common, or like Zard Counters, anyway, it's not the most common thing. But I would like always run Edge on Gyarados. Like, could not be me uh, not running Edge. Just because, like, Zard is so fucking good. Gyarados, I don't know, kind of gets poo pooed on by most of the top five. Um, I do like really bulky for Karen Black. I think that's a cool set. Um, but, yeah. Uh, though it can live like in two adamant bolts. I like that. It's just nice. Like, I wouldn't want to not run that. Uh, from Scarf, anyways. Um, and Gera is just kind of it's it's good. I don't know. I just think Zard is a lot better than Gera, but Gera is good at beating Zard with Edge. I think Stone is just like extremely underexplored. Yeah, I don't want to have. I don't have much to say on Gera besides the fact that its win rate is really good, which is cool. And Swag would be proud. Porygon Z, Porygon Z is a fucking menace these days. Because when you fight it, you really don't know what set it's going to be. It could be Scarf, Specs, or Custap. Or it could even be some other crackhead shit. Like, I know GGOPW experimented with, like, conversion, even though he had, like, a bad set. But, Paragon Z, very interesting. And, um, yeah. Like, just really solid Mon. Not my cup of tea. Like, I don't know. I... I usually dislike Mons in general, like with defensive utility, and Porygon Z has very little of that. Um, but Scarf is pretty cool, and uh, Specs kind of unexplored. And a lot of the time, a lot of sets will just get smoked by a Specs type of beam. So Porygon Z, really good Mon. Um, Luxus just like steals pretty hard though, so it's kind of good at tearing up those like B rank Mons as I've said earlier for some other Mons. Moving on, Venusaur. Um, Venusaur's okay. It's like an A rank mon. Like, not really much more to say. You, it's really customizable. You can run whatever you fucking want on it. Um, it's it has like really hard four moon sauce syndrome if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, whatever. Um, Venusaur solid mon. Beats Gyarados really well. Um, I don't know what I think about HP Fire. I don't know. And Amnesia might have a good Porygon Z check or like matchup. For, like versus like scarf probably specs by wins um sleep powder peony is bad though don't run that it's just like not very good sableye is really fucking good it's really good like the ability to just beat metagross heatran or i'm thinking of calm mind but metagross heatran it's hard why too it's hard why it loses to calm mind it's actually insane karen black usually loses taunt plus wisp non cm beats that thing it just like it can fucking beat so much stuff like you need a charizard or like a guard to like really re or like a mawa to really reliably beat it uh i saw an azu in fucking world cup lose to a a wisp or not even a wisp one it loses to wisp too um it lost a burst which was like really disheartening like if you actually know or you know that azu kind of can lose to fucking say why it's kind of depressing actually uh say is really good it's still on um yeah, it's just, it's, it has, like, pretty solid weaknesses, like, the main annoyance when you're building a Sableye team is, like, oh, how do I fucking beat Zardex, you know, um, like, that's just what I think of whenever I start building a Sableye team, um, like, it's Zardex matchup is annoying, and, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that, really, um, Greninja, in PL, it had, I think, it was number two and number three in usage, um, it's simmered down a bit because there is less shooters running triple grid engine just mindlessly spamming it. But it has a great ass win rate. That is solid as fuck. Um, it wins more than 75% of the games. And that's like actually insane. 
Um, yeah, it's cool. Um, really versatile expert bellows on explore to beat Zards. Uh, overall, awesome mon. I mean, I've talked about this already, and uh, I kind of want to go less mon by mon here and just point out things they notice. Dancy is quite high. I don't think it's ever been that high in uh, ORS tour, um, but that's because <clears throat> I'd like to say it was because of one of my teams that I used Dancy on a bit, but not all, you know. Um, I know MotoGP ran Dancy. Dancy is just a cool ass mon, you know. Um, it, it has a great Zard matchup. It can beat Sableye. Kind of like Ozu in that sense. Um, you know. It doesn't have the great, uh, best Iron Hunter and Black matchup. Uh, but with Iron Defense and Trick Room, Dancy and Weakness Ponsley, Dancy actually beats um, Gyarados, which is pretty cool. It's honestly pretty cool to see Dancy. It kind of lures it in, kind of doesn't. It's like. Like when you kind of predict it wrong and your Gyarados fights a Dancy, it's like, okay, well, I can beat this. Um, but Mega Dancy is kind of bad. I think most people use normal because um, Mega uh, doesn't get the speed turn one, so it kind of just loses to like Gyarados and stuff. Um, yeah, Dancy is pretty cool. I'm glad to see it get this high. You just like kind of slept on, I think it slept on for a bit. Genesect kind of high. It's cool. Steel types are good. Mew. You know, even with a terrible Mega Sableye matchup, he was actually pretty poppin' these days. Um, the, besides Dancy just popping out of nowhere and getting 15, I think a Serp is very interesting. Um, wow, that is a fucking awful win rate. Holy shit, 30%? That's garbage. Um, but Serp is like an, you know, an SM tech fucking reaping into, um, Oras. Um, I wonder how much of that is Leech Seed Protect Sub, or how much of that is my Aukaberry set. I really couldn't tell you. I know I've seen the the Degs Aukaberry Degs team, quote unquote. He just took my team and replaced one of my Mons with another one of my Mons that he stole this set from me. And yeah, whatever. Um, Aka is very cool. Beats Heatran and shit. I'm um, just good lure, and Leech is pretty cool. Uh. I haven't really experimented with Leech that, Leech that much. I know I gave my teammate a uh, uh, fucking Serp team, but yeah, it's it's. I'm I'm actually hella glad to see like there's some random ass mom that had very low usage prior to this just kind of fucking pop up and be higher than Garchomp. Garchomp has very low usage. G Garchomp and Slubber have very low usage because Garchomp is like. Well, I or Goras is like kind of Garchomp's lair. Like it just beats Steel, beats fucking is hard but i feel like kind of heat train is just kind of getting more notoriety from that it beats you know porygon z has a better kieran black matchup has a better venusaur matchup with taunt anyways um yeah heat train just kind of looks like it's just kind of taking over garchomp's niche um which is kind of interesting to see Slowbro is really good um that thing has kind of slept on uh yeah, Slowbro is just really cool manaphy Sleeper threat, low punny. Um, eh, low punny. It's it's alright. I don't I don't know when I'd ever slap a low punny on a team. I would always make a team around low punny. I wouldn't slap a low punny on a team really though. Um, it's not very splashable, but it's okay if you want to build a team around it to see team someone or whatever. Um, Blastoise is garbage. I don't know why it's this high. Um, Latias, decently high. Lando T is high. It hasn't gotten much usage prior to this tour. Um, Lando T. I've seen a lot of special ones, and I've seen banned both of them in this tour. I don't. I haven't seen Scarf, but Scarf is actually really cool for beating Zard and um, other shit. It's just Scarf's pretty cool. It can beat PZ with superpower. Uh, I think Scarf is very slept on. Right here, man usage for a Memon kind of Wokarena. I've always, I've thought since like World Cup 2, maybe even World Cup, or PL2, that Volcarona is just like really underrated, and it, um, I feel like half of it is just Volcarona, it's won every time it's been used, which is hilarious, um, I've built so many Volcarona teams, I don't know if I've ever seen a Volcarona that wasn't on my team, <laughs> to be honest, um, but yeah, it's, it's really cool, uh, something I want to talk about is Heracross, it's a very awesome mod, this thing is so fucking bulky, it's so fucking strong. 
it's kind of slow but or s speed tiers um are actually pretty kind to it one that makes hero cross actually faster than you'd uh think because it gets the mega downgrade turn two speed wise um, but hero cross is awesome um it's i think bulk up is pretty underrated because um I, I ran some sd rock tomb dong and i lost to a gyarados which is like you hate to see it you hate to see a fucking hero cross just go gyarados um <clears throat> But I think bulk up is actually pretty solid, and it 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 takes very little investment. It takes like maybe 60 defense, 252 HP, 248 maybe um to uh live a banded Kyurem outrage. Heracross is an awesome Kyurem black matchup. It's really good. Um, I think bulk up is just pretty underrated. Um, doesn't have the best matchup versus I don't know. It's it's um Metagross matchup that actually it can win with counter. Counter just beats Metagross like straight up. Shitty, um, oh well matchup, but you're gonna want to have a steel type answer anyways. Maybe you can run Heracross plus Heatran or something like that. Um, Heracross beats Slowbro really well. It beats, um, Gyarados. Endur can beat PZ because the one Hyper Beam you. SD can beat Venusaur. Like, it's just Heracross is really awesome. Um, I've seen a bit more of it in World Cup than other tours, I like to say. I don't know. Meloet is really low for whatever reason. Same with Tide with Volcanion. That's like really bizarre. By the way, that's pretty awesome. This is what I want to talk about. This is what really interests me. Archeops, Chansey, Altaria, Cobalion, Dragonite, and Town Flame. And like Durant and Pinsir. Like, what the fuck? Why are these mons all tied? I think Altaria is like way better than literally all the mons on here. Altaria is awesome, dude. Like, Altaria is just great. Uh, same win rate, too. That's actually really weird for most of them. Um, but Altaria is like really good at just beating Zards and Gyaradoses and Kyurem Blacks. And shit like that. It can beat Meloetta with Confide too. So it's just really good at beating like the really good mons. And when you put a Mela or uh, an Altaria on your team, it's just like it makes building a lot easier because you've just covered all the annoying mons like Altaria, Kieran Black. Or not Altaria, Kieran Black. Um, Zar, Kieran Black, Gyarados. Like, shit, those guys are fucking annoying, you know? And, um, you just have like a steel type for guard or some guard measure and like you can beat Sable Black too. It's just like so insane. Um, like, it's just very, very, very splashable. It's like the second mod. I think Altair is super slept on, especially with this poo poo usage here. Um, let's see. Lando Eye is getting shitty usage because it's a shitty mod, although it's won all of its games, interestingly enough. Also, I don't fucking. Cobalion is like on this one team. It's been used a few times. Um, it was like this, this counter team for the cone dude. It was four attacks, life orb, iron head, poison jab, volt switch, CC for like Gera, Zar, Y, PZ. He saw those, but I don't know. Cabellion's kind of a meme. It's a CT mon, I think, or like a really niche mon that you're gonna want to put it on third. I don't think it's. I don't think Cabellion is good or even like yeah, it's not great or good, but it does have. A, it's just like one of the mons you can kind of splash on as your third, you know, just to beat a bunch of shit. Um, I, I kind of like it. It's just like. I like the Pokemon Kabayon, not necessarily it's an or Essence one, I think it's good. Victini receiving really shitty usage, for whatever reason. Um, all three of those instances were on this one team I made, um, Diancy, Lopunny, Victini, and all the times at once. So that's kind of awesome to see, just like my team fucking winning three times out of three. Um, but literally, if that team did not exist... Victini would not have been used, which is honestly interesting. Victini is really good. Um, it, I use the specs to learn like Slowbro and Focus Blast beats Karen Black. It's lit. Um, uh, Azelf, some garbage. Moto GP made. Melodic is on this one. Dong team that Glicks made. Doug Trio fucking one. <laughs> Doug Trio does have Trico fucking one. Aeron having the same usage as Agron is epic. Agron's bad. Florgus winning. Latios. Latios? I don't know. I don't know why it has that low usage. Tur Tangrowth and Pharaoh are both me. Terrakion is so good, dude. Why don't people fucking use this thing more? Like, it beats Zards, it beats Karams, it can 50 50 Garrett. Like, what do you fucking want, dude? Weezing, Halucha, Dong, Rotom Wash, Aurora's Dong, Cotney, Elsa, Dong. I to say, really. Um, this one, the points and shit out. I was a bit, like, heavier on the top mons, but, you know, I just. Because, you know, they're there for a reason, so I wanted to talk about them more so than the mons that are barely used. And that's what I have to say. See y'all later. Maybe.